It's me again with another Q&A. And this one comes from Kamalie, I believe that's how you pronounce your name. I get this question a lot, so I thought I finally would make a video. I get a lot of questions from people asking if I will be a spiritual mentor for them. And the answer is no. And I want to tell you why. Mostly because I'm not qualified to be a spiritual mentor. I don't think anyone is. <laughs> um, I'm sure from the outside it looks like I live a pretty decent life. I try, <laughs> like all of you. But I struggle every day with common issues like trust, <laughs> boundaries, self-worth, and so much more. I have run the gambit every avenue imaginable to find spiritual guidance and almost always everything has come up short lacking not complete not whole and so therefore i've never really been able to receive the healing that i so much need to be a better good or godly person and because i have not yet met a person that has mastered those things, I don't turn to other people for spiritual mentorship. I have turned to other people for help, like therapists and friends and family and neighbors, but for spiritual mentorship, I go directly to God and Jesus. I go directly to the New Testament for my spiritual mentorship. Because in that, it talks a lot about how to be a good or godly person. I want to be a good person for my fellow man. I want to be a godly person to God as best as I can. I'm flawed, people. I am so flawed. <laughs> but I'm working on that. The New Testament talks about how to establish boundaries, how to love yourself and love others and love God. how to honor yourself, how to honor others, how to honor God. It's all about boundary setting, but you have to know who you are first and you have to be willing. I make assumptions. I try not to, but I still make assumptions because as I've discovered, assumptions are based on issues of trust or more truthfully, mistrust. I have let people take advantage of me pretty much most of my life because A, I was raised to believe that I wasn't valuable and worthy of that and B, because it took me time to realize where I was being and doing and having that in my life that was contributing to conflict in relationships of every nature, including the one that I have with myself and God. Do you know how many times I blame God for things? <laughs> Um, just a heads up, something that I've learned, if you're blaming God for something, it's because you're failing to recognize something within yourself. So the only spiritual mentorship that I have to offer anyone are the Holy Scriptures and the New Testament. I mean, if you're really trying to get closer to God, why are you seeking it from all other avenues? Why not go directly to source? And if you have mistrust about whether the scriptures are true or not, all the more reason to read it. <laughs> so that's today's video.